What's going on everyone? I'm your host Cole here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're once again going to be playing Factions on Hectic MC. This is the fifth episode of the series and this episode is going to be action packed. But before the video begins, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys for helping me reach 100 views on the first episode of this series. This means the world to me and I'm really thankful so thank you guys so much for helping me with this. I also want to apologize for not being able to give out the second coal rank that I promised that I'd be able to give away. The server closed day before th I thought it was going to close, so due to this, I will have to give it away next map rather than this map. I'm really sorry about this, but I will make up for it and promise to not let this happen again. But without further ado, let's hop straight into some PvP action. So as of late, there's been a faction kind of on the rise. Their name is Grim Reaker, and if I check at the top, they are uh, in second place with about $102 million. So we want to take them out as quick as possible, because if they get big, there's a very high chance that they may be able to raid us. But if I do such roam right here, um, actually I can't. If I do such F map at least, here's Grim Reaper. This is their claim. So we've been able to find their base, and if I do such roam, I can check to see where their spawners are at. So their spawners are right down here. This base has no walls. So, you know, it's just gonna be an easy raid and we're gonna get a free 100 mil out of it. So it's gonna be really nice. Hopefully we're able to get in this space and I'll bring you guys back when the cannon is set up. Alrighty guys, so the cannon is set up and all we need to do is shoot. So hopefully this works. I'm not sure if we have enough dispensers or power for this, but Hopefully it is, because, I mean, we have enough TNT, but this is just nice and easy. Look it. Oh, we breached. Bruh, COVID we breached. We breached. We They're breached. Let's go. Oh, no. no. Should I just shoot it? No, we're neutral. It's fine. Now we're neutral with them? Or All right. Oh, do not kill them. Oh, do not kill them. We can't, we can't throw it. We can't do the. Alright. Later. Oh. Bro, right when I fell. They know, they know, they know, they know. We have to go quick. We have to go quick. Move, move. I have no sea eggs. I have no sea eggs. Alright, go, 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 go. Some go, someone, someone go catch. Someone catch. Someone catch. Destroy, destroy the evidence. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, wait. No, I can still fly. Oh, that's... 
I'm catching, I'll catch, oh. I'll catch. I'm I'll getting him. Um, I got, I, I got, I got. Entity's clear, no! Entity's clear, no! No! I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, you have to There we go, there we go! Alrighty guys, well that was a nice easy raid. We got a lot of value out of it, so that was really nice. This guy is upset that we raided him, and I mean, I would be upset too. But they should have protected their base better. I know they're new, but you gotta make sure to put some walls in your base before you like put all your spawners on it. So, GG to them anyways, and I'll bring you guys back with anything else interesting. Alrighty everyone, so I have just stumbled across a base that I never would have thought would have spawners. If I do have taunt right now, it'll say that Grim Reapers in third with about 256 IGs, and that's about 166 mil in value. And this is their cane farm, so I didn't think that they would put it here, but I searched the world and I wasn't able to find another claim. And look at this, they just happen to have all their IGs in here enclosed in bedrock. Now, my faction doesn't really need like this value. So even if I just, you know, blow it up and then don't get them, it's fine. So this may not be the most entertaining thing. I could, if I really wanted to blow it up. Um, bedrock is only five, only has five durability, which isn't a lot, but, um, I would have to set up a cannon, this just seems easier, so I might as well test it out. So, at least on these, I think I'll be able to get into. I'm not sure about this one and this one. We'll try our best, though. So, if I place a cake here, it does. And I should be able to pick these up. So, at least on these, it's not like block glitching or anything. You can just stand in the corner, and you should be able to get them. Um, I'm pretty sure that is fine. And, oh, okay, so this is going to be a bar. I just figured out that we can get all of them. So, basically, if I throw them on the floor, they will stack. So, even though I can't technically reach it from here, I should be able to still get it. Um, but let's keep going. So, that's, um, 6 times 32. I don't know. That's three-fourths of the way, I'm pretty sure. We got these in the corner. Yeah, so I can't get this here, but if I, well, I'm kind of scared. If I toss it on the ground, I'm pretty sure it'll go inside. So if I do this, I was able to get it. Okay, that was lucky. So actually what I was thinking I could do was throw these on the ground like so, like that. And then they'd stack, right? Kind of like what was happening over here when we blew two up. However, what actually would have happened is I would have just thrown it and it would have came in here. So when I blew this one up, luckily this one, the spawner that I broke over here was in this corner, so I was still able to pick it up. So that was super fortunate, but that's a free 256 IGs straight in my pocket. So that was really nice, really fortunate. Now Grim Reaper is once again off F top. They've kind of been bugging us lately, so this is kind of a nice little payback thing that we could have done. So I'll bring you guys back if I find anything else interesting. Okay, everyone, so we've just found this base. They're called Shrekuts right here. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but anyways, they're worth about 8 mil in value, so it's an alright raid. It's not the best, but it's the best we can find right now. Cannon's about done. They don't have uh, a watered wall. It's just one obby wall, so it should be fairly easy to get into, but I hope you guys enjoy this raid. Press the button. Alright, it's fire. fire. We're in. That was easy. Let's go. Um, oh, that didn't nuke like I wanted it to. How about, is this this one guy in the base? Ah. Uh, you wanna kill him? Yeah. I mean, we have to kill him if we want to be able to fly. I can't, I can't get in there because he's just there. You know what, neutral him. I killed him, I killed him, I killed him, I killed him. He had tier one armor. Have? Anything? Uh, tier one armor. Why do we beat up on the little guys? I mean, there's just not a lot that we can do right now, so. Um. 
I just need a flint and steel. I got one. Should we leave his chest? Can... Should we just take his spawners? Because I feel kind of bad. Yeah, well. Oh my god, I keep screwing that up. Stop pushing him, bro. Now you light it and you can punch it. Let's go. Let me get those spawners real quick. The easiest way to fix this is. Okay, we, we gotta. gotta get I can't put that in there. Right. Let me put it in that chest real quick. You gotta get this just right. Fuck. Let me try. Oh, you don't have to even shift. What is that? You need to punch them towards those spawners. There we go. I have probos, we're fine. I don't know. Yes. Here they're taking more throwables in. Ah, I mean it's fine. But like But I mean that this is a decent bit of spawners. It's a lot of different types, so I guess that's why it looks like it's a bunch. It was a it was a decent raid. It's one of the better ones on the server right now. It's the best we can find. So um, I'll bring you guys back if I can find anything else. Alrighty, everyone. Well, I think that brings us to the end of today's video and to the end of the first season of Hexic MC Factions. I just want to thank all those who decided to give Hexic MC Factions a try. I hope you had a good experience because I surely did. But if you weren't able to make it to this first season, that is okay. They will be hosting another map on the 17th. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a 10-day map. I'm not entirely sure though, but that will be a topic for another video. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to be notified when I upload in the future. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys next time.